When Abraham was a hundred years old, Sarah gave birth to a son. They called him Isaac, which means laughter, because Sarah said, God has put laughter in my heart. And all who hear about me giving birth to a child will laugh with me. Who would have thought that I could nurse a baby? When Ishmael was a young man, Sarah saw him mocking Isaac. She was furious and said to Abraham, Send that woman away, as well as her son. I don't want them to inherit anything that belongs to Isaac. Abraham didn't want to do this because he loved Ishmael. But God told him, Do what Sarah wants. My promises to you will be passed down through Isaac. And don't be concerned about Ishmael and his mother. Because he's your son, I'll make a nation of him as well. So, early the next morning, Abraham gave Hagar bread and water, and sent her and her son away. They wandered into the wilderness, where they stayed until their water was gone. Soon Hagar lost all hope of living. She couldn't bear to watch her son die, so she left him under a bush and walked a short distance away. She then fell to the ground and sobbed. Ishmael called out and God heard his voice. The angel of the Lord said to Hagar, Don't be afraid. God has heard your son's voice. Get up and go to him. He needs your help. Take care of him because he'll be the father of a great nation. With that, God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water nearby. She rushed over and filled her container with water and took it to her son. So Ishmael grew and God was with him. He became a great archer and settled in the wilderness. In time, Hagar went to Egypt and got a wife for him. King Abimelech came to Abraham and said, We can clearly see that God is with you in everything you do. So let's make an agreement that there will be peace between your people and my people. Abraham said, I agree, but there is a problem we need to talk about. Your people have taken one of my wells. The king said, I didn't know anything about this. Why didn't you tell me before now? I'll take care of it. So they made an agreement and Abraham sealed it with giving Abimelech cattle and sheep. But he set aside seven ewe lambs. Abimelech asked about this. Abraham said, You are to accept these seven lambs as your way of saying that I own this well. The king accepted the seven ewe lambs, and Abraham called the place Beersheba, which means, Well of the Oath. He planted a tamarisk tree there and worshipped the Lord, the everlasting God.